Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosa Wells, Rosa Wells Home Decor. I'm, uh, guys, welcome to back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'll just come and give you guys the update. Everything looking good. I'm moving up the uh, waiting list. Um, the last time I checked, I was at number 33. I was at 35, but I moved up to 33. I haven't checked it in the past week or two, so it's kind of moving up and a little slow, but surely, but uh, slowly but surely, I will, um, I will be in my own place soon. Um, this is the part two of the update and friendship, and a lot of y'all respond to me, and I got to write it down. A lot of y'all names that down and shout out to you guys for coming on my channel subscribing to my channel guys when you come on my channel please go in and give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel leave a comment uh, comment down below and i will return your comment back to you guys as soon as possible um once again like i said i am doing fine a lot of y'all reached out to me um a lot of y'all, I watched that video. A lot of y'all, like, uh, Sandy's, 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 Sandy's. Lord, I'm messing up her name. But I follow that, la that young lady. Oh, I love her. She just down to earth. I follow her. On I love all of her video. Queen T, shout out to her. She reached out to me. A lot of y'all, Pam, all, Pamela, all of you guys that reached out to us towards me to make sure that I was okay. I'm fine. Um, once again, this is the part two of the update. What's going on with me? I'm okay. I'm still looking for an apartment, like I said. Um, when you come on, please come on and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and share my video with someone else because some of the information that um, I'm finding out, somebody else might be in the same situation that I am. And like I say, let's let's never put someone down. It's an old um, saying that uh, a civil rights leader said, which by the name of Jesse Jackson, he said, "Never put a person down, lift them up." And that's my quote. That's that's it's not my quote, but I I love that quote, and I walk with that. All my life, not to judge anybody or put anybody down. I'm not better than anybody or anything like that. I just, you know, I'm, I'm just to be friends with a person for so long, over 20 some years, and it's shocked how they could open their arm, but then once they get you in the house, less than two weeks. They telling the whole world about your business. You know, and they on the phone talking about you, criticizing, and and you're walking in their house, and they not paying attention that you already in the house and they talking about you. You know, and, you know, and since I left there, And like I told y'all in the last video, she called me only one time. And that's because one of her friends was down at the Black Top Flea Market. And I believe that lady called her to let her know that I was there. But what she didn't do, she didn't call me that day. She called me the following day. And don't you know, ever since, and I've been back and forth back at the Black Top Flea Market with my basket and my own decor, all of that stuff. The other lady haven't came back down there so you know I'm, I'm i'm 55 years old guy let me tell you something there's nothing that you can go past my eyes to let me know that by pass by my eyes that i'm not gonna catch or god not gonna let me know sometimes god put you in a situation to bring you out of situation because you can't take yourself out of that situation. So God said, well, since you can't take yourself out of that situation, let me do it. And that's basically what God did for me. And God got a, a better plan for me. 
and that plan is even is better than my my own plan. And I'm blessed. I got loved ones, family members. I got cousins, loved ones, all of that. Brothers and you know sisters that that care for me. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that she didn't, but it's the way she did everything while I was there. It went from shower curtain, bathroom mat being wet. It been from um, somebody took $15 of her money. Um, it just went from there, whatever. And, and, and the only thing that you could have told me that when you first went there, you should have said you only could stay for such and such. She never said it. She said you could stay long as you want to till you get off your feet. But all of a sudden, I'm, I'm hearing you on the phone. You talk about me. And, you know, some things that you could forgive a certain person, what they do, but, but when you hear, it's not what somebody come back and told me, oh, this person said this. It's, I heard it myself. And when you hear stuff yourself like that, it's like you asking yourself, like, wow, I can't believe she's talking to me like that. Why? Wow. And I got to the point where now, y'all, I just, when people come to me, won't help. I, I, I can't be over backwards no more for people no more. I, I, my trust issue really is down even my boyfriend it was like well no you know that's your friend it would but I but when I told him what he did and he sat back and, and analyzed stuff himself he understood you know what I'm saying now if she calls she talked yeah I talk calls call you but I would not let her know where I live oh how you doing everything I, no I will actually will cut off and let her know I don't want to discuss that with you. And I have my reason. So I, I don't need for you to ask my, oh, okay, no problem. I'm fine with that. But like I said, um, yeah, guys, I went out, I'm out and about and I decided to come on and do the update, let y'all know what was going on, the update and everything is looking good. Everything is looking good. Um, I don't sold some of my basket. Yeah, I don't sold some some of them. I'm making extra because Christmas come around. A lot of people are gonna be out with their baskets, so I need to get on my bump and grind some more. I bought some more material. I said I'm gonna sit down there and probably show y'all that all stuff that I'm. Gonna, put in my basket and I might even um y'all even uh, um I know y'all looking like her hair is a hot mess that's not her I had my hair in a little um the little two band twist and I took it loose this morning because I'm planning tonight to wash deep condition and all that and yeah I'm gonna I got some braiding hair but I think I'm gonna get um, some more packs so I can um, do the natural updo style that I normally wear. But uh, uh, lately I've just been washing and two band twisting my hair and just getting up and going because um, the other day, yesterday, I had to go to get a mammogram because before they found like some lumps on my breast up under my breast but thank god it wasn't breast cancer last year um they discovered that so they rushed me whatever but it wasn't cancerous it was just something they said women's um that have large um breasts like i do that large they always get those knots or something on up under their breast because they breasts are large was whatever um, that was last year when they told me that. But this year I went to go get my mammogram. And normally I take a pain pill, uh, ladies. Um, I go take a, a pain pill out before I got to go. So when I leave there, I won't be. And I, but I forgot. And before I would leave, leave from home, I would take a, 
pain pill an hour before I'm leaving before my appointment. So when it does, it will hurt. I forgot to take that pain pill. Oh my God, it was hurting so bad. Even y'all, when I got out there to the blacktop flea market to set up, and I sat, uh, took out my fold chair, set it out, my beach chair light, y'all, the sun was, it was so pretty, and then I was sitting in the sun, the sun would be me, it would, even the sun was hurting my chest. I was like, oh my God, never again. I won't do that. But I got all my yearly physical this year. The only thing I have to do now is get my shingle shot. Because it was, when you hit 60, now they go, they, it's 50. And I'm 55. And I said, let me take that shot. Because I, I know my brother wife said her sister had it. And if I'm not mistaken, I think she said, she, did my sister-in-law say, I know she said her sister had it. And her other sister had it. I don't think she had it. Because she got got her shot. But I need to get that shot taken care of. Yeah, because honey, I said I ain't got time for no with no shingles, no monkey pops, none of that stuff. The, the age that I am and my health. No. Y'all see that I'm in, I am in my car. And I just said, let me pull over and just shoot a video. And I had to delete some stuff. I don't know what's wrong with my phone, but Metro. Uh, but I did get a, one of those um, free phones that the government is um, giving. And they are smartphones, y'all. They have everything the regular phone have. And I should have brought that phone, but I didn't want to leave it in the car. But, um, yeah, it got... You, could, you got YouTube. You put everything on that. It got YouTube. You got free internet, free Wi-Fi. All of that is on there free. You don't have to pay nothing a month. Nothing. Now, if you want to get extra, extra storage, if you got extra storage place, you can get you another stamp card and put in there. But you don't have to pay for a phone bill. And um, I got one of those. So, anybody want to know how I went about it. Um, yeah, you just give them the information. Um, you know, we have to be like somebody that's maybe get food stamps or somebody get a disability check like me or somebody that's on social security or like an older person like your your parents, like your parents or something like that. You could um you could go ahead and uh, um get that. Like if my parents was still living, my father and mother were living, they need a phone and, and they on a fixed income and stuff like that, yeah, I would probably get them on one of those phones. And it, it does the same thing. You can record. They got the camera on it. Um, That one, the one I got here, I think is, it might be four or three or two. But that one have a three camera, whatever. It, you could do the same thing. You could do your YouTube channel and everything. Now, what I know about my Metro T-Mobile phone when I'm that I'm recording on, guys. Now that one right there, um, right there, it been acting up funny. And I, I just got this phone. Let me see. I think early this year. Because I had bought another phone and it's in my car, and it got locked up. It got the I forgot that you got the put your code, but this one the um phone that you get for the government, you can put your thumbprint on it, or you can put a pass pin in it, whatever. But I think that I might just do my thumbprint on that one once I set it up. Free, I don't have no monthly bills or nothing like that, and I think I'm gonna get rid of my Metro phone and the uh, guy even told me that even your uh carrier your phone carrier like metro pc timo verizon all of these uh carriers know about the government government free phone and a lot of times they have their phones inside the store but they're not telling you guys um so i got 
that phone activated for 60 bucks. So if y'all want any information about that, hit me down below at my comment. Like I said, when you come in on my channel, please give my channel a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, share my video with someone else. So I'm just coming on today to let y'all guys know I'm doing fine. I appreciate you guys reaching out to me and stuff like that. And um, I said I got to get back. I, I still watch a lot of y'all videos. I still come on and make a comment. But I know I, uh, the ones that do the live channels and uh, Friday Night Live, Sania, I haven't been on her, um, not Saturday night, Friday Night Live. I have not been on her channel because I used to be the first one that as soon as she comes on, I was there. But I'm going to start back um, doing that. I'm just trying to handle some stuff myself. And then I'm just trying to come up with creative content to come with you, you guys because I know you guys like the hall and when I was living in my apartment, yeah, uh, townhouse, y'all saw my furniture, how I had everything set up, what I had bought and stuff like that. Half I went out and bought some stuff. Yes, I have bought some stuff and um for the basket. I also bought some home decor stuff that I'm gonna put in some gift basket. And I also guys, please when you come in subscribe Go to my channel because I'm trying to build my channel on up to get to the thousand subscribers before the Christmas holiday. Let's get me up there so I can do a giveaway. I've been keep telling y'all guys I want to do a giveaway. I want to give three giveaway: first place, second, and third. And um, and I want to do a nice giveaway for all three people that I choose. Um, to give us so let's get me up there to a thousand subscribers share my videos with other people let people know what's going on but like i said if you know the stuff that i've been going through it's like i see who my friends and i see who's not my friend um some people could play like they your friend and uh, and, and the whole time they wishing the worst from you because this this is a person like i told you on the first video she got a co-worker fired from her job and knew that she was taking care of her mother. And she got her fired because she fell to sleep a little bit. You know, dozing off while she had the computer when you could have tapped on her desk and gave her some gum or something. But you decided to go run to the manager and the manager got rid of her. And then I just seen little stuff that she would do all the time like i said it was a guy out there selling some stuff and she thought it was taking food out of her mouth it didn't have nothing to do with you he doing the same thing what you do selling home decor stuff he doing the same thing you do what make you think because he's on the outside in the parking lot and he doing that and you're you feel like he taking food out your mouth but you do the same thing when you go to the black top flea market because that's a big parking lot it just got a shed over it where everybody will be up on it won't be in the rain and stuff like that electrical power and stuff like that but you're doing it you're doing the same thing i just you know i have to look back at things like my daughter told me mama you have to look back at things i i told you that you have to look back at things and stuff and i start noticing when i was there living there with her for those two weeks everything that I would do do like I would get up take a shower I would fix my hair twist it up whatever I start noticing she was doing the same thing if this what I got on it's a pair of pants with, it's like a sweat suit like if I come out with this she come out with the same thing Oh, almost some colors like but and I just color like mine I just yeah I just don't know you know I just you know it's like my boyfriend saying one thing my family saying no whatever but now he see what I, whatever because even after that she don't call me she called me one time I called her back I heard for her so why should I pick up the phone? Oh, hey, you know, I'm not doing that. I, I, I'm not doing that. You brought me in your house. And you talked about me while the whole entire time I was in your house. 
you talk down. And it's an old saying that Jesse Jackson said, the civil right, civil right, just the civil right, Jesse Jackson said, never put a person down, lift them up. And that's why I never put nobody down. When somebody down, I lift them up. If I can help you, I will help you. If I can't, I will try to my donors to find information that can okay, help you. But I'm not going to get on no phone. I'm not going to accuse you for anything. I'm not going to um, talk about you to other people behind your back. I'm not going to do that. That's just not my character. But um, I'm just coming on here, y'all, let y'all know what the update. And I will be doing a basket. I'm probably going to show you guys later on on another video. Probably today or tomorrow. And I'm going to show y'all the stuff that I bought for the basket and the basket. That also that I got. I got some nice, unique basket, guys, to put the stuff in. And, uh, um, yeah. So, like I said, when you come on my channel, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell and share my video to someone else. And I just want to say all the new subscribers and the old subscribers, thank you. And I love you guys. Y'all have a blessed day. Thank you.